Scenes of joy in Durban after UN climate change talks finally reached a decision. There's now an agreement to force all the world's biggest polluters to take action to slow the pace of global warming. The British Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change says they should be proud of what they've achieved. What we've done today uh, is actually a great success for European diplomacy. We've managed to put this on the map uh, and we've managed to bring the major emitters uh, like the United States and India and China into a roadmap which will secure an overarching global deal. But a representative from the World Wildlife Fund says the agreement does not go far enough. Well, we disappointed about the outcome. What we expected here was urgent action to address climate change. And certainly the biggest problem here was the lack of ambition in terms of immediate action to reduce carbon emissions. We've come out essentially with an empty shell. The terms of the agreement will now be discussed next year, with a deadline for the decision in 2015. But then the treaty would not be enforced until five years later, by which time, some scientists say, there could be a rise of up to three degrees in global temperatures. While the existing Kyoto Treaty is set to be extended to 2017, this will not affect some of the world's biggest polluters.